Good morning, student. Again, we are meeting with the part two of the computer network. Hope you have understand the first part. Let us move for the second part. In the first slide, we can see some terms, network terms. The first one is network user. Second is local resources. Third is server. Fourth is workstation, and fifth is peer. Now, network user, a user which is using a computer or a device that uh, that consists of internet. Or it is in a network is considered as a network user. Now, second is local resources, the resources that are available in our computer, like file, folder, or some external hardware such as printer that are that is uh, we can use as a resource for sending file for receiving file are considered as local resources. We can share this files. Okay. Now next is server. Now server is a powerful computer that is responsible for distributing the files in the network. Okay. Now after the server comes the workstation, which is less powerful compared to server, but it is more powerful than our personal computer. Now personal computer are the peers. Okay. Now the difference between the workstation and the peer is workstation uh, are also a computer peer are also a computer now workstation configuration is more it has been used in offices for video editing and many other such tasks okay whereas peer is one type of workstation but it configuration is comparatively less com uh, if it C2 workstation okay and it has been connected with the network after that we will talk about uh, four type of networks that are LAN, WAN, MAN and PAN. Now in the LAN as the definition say a LAN that stand for local area network is a network that connects the computer and the devices in a limited geographical area such as home, school computer laboratory, offices, buildings and closely positioned group of buildings. Now LAN, if we take an example, our computer lab in Vashish, Sri Vashish Vidyalaya, if you see it is a 42 PC, okay, now if all the 42 PCs are combined with the network, so each student can communicate with the other student, that is one example of LAN. Now next come is the WAN, a WAN stand for wide area network, that is span over a large geographical areas such as entire city region or even an entire country all over the world now what happened with the van that okay uh, two or more lands let's say uh, one land is in our uh, is in our svv and another land is in the svv bardoli i am talking two lands okay now this also make one van now van can be within a city it can be within a state within a country or it is covering whole world that is our internet that has been covering our whole world is an example of van now after lan the next come is our man now man is a network that connect the local area network in a metropolitan area such as a city or town now man is covering only the city or the town part okay it is not like lan or van it is covering the city or the town part a man typically include one or more land but cover a smaller geographical area than a van van it is covering whole world whereas man is covering only the city or the town part just look in the image there are three buildings that are being connected three or four buildings that are being connected with each other now this can be a private network only this four building can access no outsider can access that is one example of man after the man next come is the pan a personal area network is a network that connect the personal device like laptop smartphone digital camera printers etc in an individual workspace using the wire or the wireless technology now pan for a simple example we are connecting our laptop with the smartphone through the bluetooth okay or our computer has been connected with the printer through the cable is a example of pan a pan may connect devices to a router using the network cable or by using a bluetooth or wi-fi technology our computer or our laptop has been connected with a printer through wi-fi 
so this is one exam these are the examples of pan moving to the next topic that is network hardware what are the hardware that are been required for in uh, within the network the first one among this is computer so computer uh, is the most important jo uh, job in the network to link computers together okay when the computers are linked the people use the computer can work more efficiently now what it say that computers want to share any data to another computer we require the we require internet so computer connected to the uh, network do not have to be of same time first of all the first thing it say that uh, whatever let's say my computer is windows and let's say your computer is mac okay so for sharing a file i doesn't uh, you doesn't need to have the same type of computer or same type of operating system the file what i am sharing it will reach to you it will transfer to you whether you are supporting the same operating system or not okay so computer is an important part in the network hardware the next one is the network interface card an expansion card used to provide a network access to computer or other devices such as printer now without the network interface card your computer your laptop is not accessible to have internet or network this is the uh, this is the card due to which the internet cable is been attached in the ethernet port see the image in the ethernet port and your uh, through which the internet supply or the network supply come to your computer or laptop now network interface card mediate between the computer mediate see the term mediate is an intermediate between your computer and the and the physical media such as cable over which data travels so it is an intermediate between your computer and the cable through which the connection of internet is possible so if you have the cable but you don't have the nic card then you are not able to access your internet okay moving to the next one the next one you can see is a connector a connector is a device that join two network together the most common common uh, connectors are hub switch and router now connector from the name it, it is clearly understandable that it is connecting something okay now connector that is a device that is connecting two devices okay so basically we are talking about hub switch and router let me show you the images of this so see hub and switch is looking almost same whereas router look a little bit different and i think most of their houses which are having a, a wifi connection in their houses will have a router in their home so let us see the definition of each of this now hub hub offer a central location where all the cables on a network meet means if you see the images there are some ports given but the number 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay this numbers you can see where the uh, ethernet cables are been attached now here what happened uh, if you see an image given in a switch one Uh, there is a one uh, switch is given switch and hub look almost same switch and hub look almost same the their difference is also there i am going to explain just for an example you see the four computers are connected with the switch okay same way here are uh, it has an capability of attaching seven computers seven ports are there means it can attach up to seven computers okay so now next point it say it also provide the connection for all the computer on a network so that they can exchange the data so if you see in the image again there uh, in the image of hub see one computer is sending a data from one point and it is been available to remaining other devices okay in the case of switch when uh, when a, uh, when a data is sending from one pc it is only going to the main pc now the basic difference between the hub and the switch is hub whenever it sends the data from one computer to other computer it will go to all the computers that are connected with the hub 
all the devices that are connected with the hub let's say i am sending i have four student nearby me now i am sending to student d there are four student let us consider as a b c d now i am sending the uh, data to student d but my data will reach a b c d all the student now it is whether a b c d reject that data that i don't i am not the d means all the students are available to see that data whereas in the switch whatever the data i am going to send will be reached to d it will not go to a b c so only difference between the switch and hub is switch uh, directly send the data to the respective user whereas hub will send the data to all the users that are connected in the hub okay now just read what uh, what switch say a switch is a device that provide a central point for cables in a network so like hub switch is also a central point switch receive the data from many direction and then forward it to one or more destination it will receive from many direction but it will only forward in one direction to which the data is meant to travel a switch is considered more advanced than hub because the switch send the data to a device that need or request for it like hub it is a trans uh, it is sending the data to all the devices that are connected with the connected in the hub whereas switch will only send the data which is mean to the user for, which is mean to the user it will not send to remaining user okay now coming to the router a router is a device that connect multiple computer together and transmit the data to it correct destination on a network through a process known as routing now router here what it say it connect multiple computers together and transmit the data to the correct destination it is same as switch and hub it is also for uh, sending and uh, sending and receiving purpose and and it is mean to uh, send to that person and the person who is going to receive the data will only receive it is not like hub which is uh, one user is sending a data and the others all other users who are connected in that device in the hub will receive router is same as switch the data mean to the user will only get the only receive that data no other users are going to receive the data a router act as a junction between the two or more network like lan and wan to transfer the data packet among them so uh, okay if you look to the image at the router okay now router you can see the four computers are been connected with a switch or hub and that switch and hub again connected with a router now router is having the internet cable so whatever the four computers or four devices that are requesting some data through the router they will receive okay because router consists of that internet cable now for example it is used to connect your home network with the internet home network with the internet means in this home network our other devices like your television your smartphones like whatever the smartphone which are wireless okay they can be also connected with the router first image see the router i have seen the two antennas now this two antennas are used for providing the wireless internet to other our wireless devices like laptop smart tv or that smartphones okay and they are in the lan network they are creating a lan network whereas router as it is connected with the internet cable it is a wan network so that way it is used to connect your home network with the internet okay moving to the next point is the cables and resources now cables you know now cable is a media through which uh, the information is traveling from one part to another part of the world okay now cables are insulated with a special material such as plastic or rubber you can see in the image as i have given the first part the starting part is a plastic or rubber material okay for using as it is a good conductor for electricity now next is resources let's say i have already given one example of resources i don't want to have lot of printer for 100 computers so i will attach one printer so whenever a user requests whenever a user want to print something to that one printer the user can print okay same way for the hard disk and cd drive now i don't want to have all the computers don't have want to have a cd drive so we will have one cd drive 
and through which we can copy a CD contain from CD to our computer. Okay. Now move, uh, moving to the next topic that is communication channel. Now what is communication channel? We have already discussed the communication channel through which we are communicating through which we are sending the data from one part to another part okay now this can be done with two possibility one is physical another is wireless now physical means physical transmission media physical transmission media that is through wires or cables now there are three type of cables that are listed over here first is twisted pair cable second is coaxial cable and third is fiber optic cable let us discuss deeply or detailedly about this the first one is twisted pair cable consists of one or more twisted pair wire bundled together see a pair of two cables which are bundled now each twisted pair consists of two separated insulated cup, uh, copper wire now see at the starting there is a copper which has been insulated with um, okay coated with the rubber or plastic so that the signals are not lost because the data that is traveling, uh, traveling from one part to us or our data is moving from one part to another are in the form of signals so leakage of signal will be safe when we coat it with the rubber or plastic now each has a different color code you can see uh, the first two pairs are of blue next two of orange like that color code are given now this type of cable basically used in a phone now phone network we are using like a telephone line or our router is also consisting of this cables the internet cables are this okay now moving to the next one is the coaxial cable now coaxial cable you have already seen in a tv the television the cable that is uh, we are attaching in our tv is this coaxial cable now coaxial cable consists of a single copper wire see a single copper uh, is given surrounded by at least three layers three layers the first one the first one is the insulating metal uh, material that you can see the white part is an insulating material the second is a wire mesh it is again again made up of copper okay and the third one is the black part that is it is made up of rubber so three layers are used for protecting this copper single copper layer okay now basically it is used in the cable tv network wiring okay now next now cable tv now tv is also work on the internet if you see all the channel all the channel that are broadcasting you know uh, broadcasting in your tv is working through the internet that we will never know but through the internet only you are getting to see the tv uh, for example the dish tv how the dish tv work the dish tv is work through the satellite okay now one satellite at the top which is revolving around our earth is uh, sending the signal and our dish tv is catching that signal and through the cable it is providing us it is broadcasting to our tv okay so for this the coaxial cable is used the next one is a fiber optic cable the core of fiber optic cable consists of hundred of three uh, thin strand of glass or plastic that use the light to transmit the signal now fiber optic uh, cable consists of hundreds of cables see hundreds of cables now it is of made up of uh, let's say glass or plastic that is used for transmitting the data now inside the fiber optic cable and insulating glass cladding and a protective coating surrounded each optical fiber now cladding is for protecting it's one type of insulating only okay so that is um, done with the rubber or glass now many big company uses the fiber optic cable in a high traffic network network means what happen if you want to have a internet speed if you want to have a big internet speed like uh, let's say nasa that is using 1 gb per second it is sending a data okay 1 gb per second data that is one second you are having a 1 gb of movie okay so in our one minute you can have 60 seconds that is 60 gb of movie so for that they are using this fiber optic cable okay now moving to the next is wireless transmission media now wirelessly there are uh, total five or six we are using 
for wireless transmission the first one is infrared second is broadcast radio third is cellular radio fourth is microwave and the last one is the communication satellite now the images i have provided over here we will discuss detail about that now infrared broadcast radio microwave communication satellite okay so let us move now infrared you know infrared you have already seen that your tv has been operating with the remote now remote uses the technology of infrared okay now infrared is a wireless transmission media that send the signal using the infrared light waves the waves that light wave to the remote is used for operating your tv your ac okay so that's that transmission is the infrared the infrared system use the same technology as household remote control it also use with the computer and device device like the cordless keyboards and mouse so you have heard about the cordless keyboards and mouse wireless keyboards and mouse that a small adapter we are attaching with our it attached to our uh, computer or laptop so whatever we are typing to the keyboard or mouse that is cordless keyboard or mouse that can be seen in the our computer or laptop now it avoid using the cables okay now next one is the broadcast radio now broadcast radio is a wireless transmission media that distribute the radio signal through the air over long distance such as city region or country and a short distance such as within an office and homes now very clearly now let's say through the tv station you can see they are transmitting some signal to the transmitter and it reaches to our house one more example we can say the bluetooth or wi-fi is also a example of broadcast radio now let's say i am broadcasting through the bluetooth and whatever the devices that are connected with the bluetooth to my device that receives that that receive the signal okay now next come is the cellular radio now cellular cellular radio is a wireless transmission medium that is used for com mobile communication it is a form of broadcast radio several categories of cellular radio transmission exist such as 1g that is for first generation 2g 3g 4g and 5g now you have already he heard about this term 1g 2g 3g 4g that is our mobile data okay we uses our mobile data for communication for accessing the internet the earlier that was 1g that for uh, that is term as first generation now recently we are using the 4g okay in other countries they are started using the 5g also so 4g stand for fourth generation so i hope you have understand the cellular radio now moving to the next that is wi-fi the Wi-Fi is short form for is a short for wireless fidelity, which is popular wireless networking technology that uses the radio wave to provide the wireless high speed network connection. Now Wi-Fi full form is wireless fidelity and it is using the radio waves. Okay, so through which it provides us the wireless high speed network connection. So whatever the device that is uses the Having a Wi-Fi, today you can see that most of the devices are supporting the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi, why? Because it provides us the wireless internet, okay, to the router or, and it having a great speed. Moving to the next topic that is microwave and communication satellite. The microwave is also called the earth-based station whereas communication satellite uses satellite as an intermediate for receiving the data for an example in the one antenna is sending the signal to the satellite and another antenna is receiving the signal okay whereas in the microwave all the antennas will be in the earth only now if you look in the image one main microwave its microwave is also known as the earth base station now uh, one main earth based station or microwave will send the data and other microwave station will relay the data means it will receive the data and it will again transmit to other station so this way a chain will be created this way the other locations will be covered now in the communication satellite what we are using we are using the satellite as an intermediate so that the earth based station will send the data to the satellite and satellite will boost that data and send again to the 
receiver end now this receiver end can be an big ante uh, antenna or it can be our dish which are receiving that signal okay now basically it is used for various applications such as for broadcasting uh, the tv channels or radio signals for weather forecasting for video conferencing gps navigation and internet connection for communicating with the satellite okay these are the purposes used in with the microwave and the communication satellite now for today this much only hope you people understand and we will meet in our next class thank you